Hi, welcome back to another part of uh, making a ram's horn crook. Last time uh, we had the, um, the horn in this jig to, uh, to bend the nose. Um, this is as I left it in the last uh, video. We're going to remove this now, have a look at it and uh, decide what we want to do with it. Um, we are going to have to cut the nose down a little bit um, and we're going to do some more tidying up. Just take this pin out. Uh, there we go. So, um, you can see how uh, the nose has gone off to one side. So we can sort that out. To tidy this area up, uh, try and take some material out of uh, the front here, um, take a bit off the nose, round it off. If we've got this wipe showing, we uh, perhaps drill through, put a horn plug in uh, to disguise it and uh, see how we go. I'm just going to check whether this shape is still as we want it. And uh, once we've cleaned this up a bit, we'll come back and uh, show you what the results are. And then we'll carry on. Right, we've done a lot of filing, a lot of scraping with uh, a razor blade, a lot of sanding, uh, sorted the nose out, and um, that's um, the result of all that work there. The next job is to um, drill this uh, neck. I'm going to prepare um, some hazel, and then we'll bring the two together. I can start working on this area here. Um, so that's the next job. So we'll see you when we've started that. Right, okay. <clears throat> um, we've done a lot of sanding on this uh, horn, uh, a lot of scraping with um, a, a razor blade, a bit of steel wool, and uh, you can see it's looking a lot better. We've drilled the, um, the neck and uh, made a peg for it, drilled the, um, the shank, and we're now ready to start shaping this area here and bring that down to um, the diameter of the, um, the shank. Um, I'll see whether I'm going to put a collar on this or not. I may, I may not. Uh, but the main thing now is to, to work this area here. And then um, we've already lined everything up, so we're happy with that. Um, fair bit of material to take off there. Um, while we're looking at this, ideally what we want is a nice straight line there and as you come up here, you can be just a little bit proud there. It wants to be just a touch thicker there than down here and that just gives it a, a nice look and used to call it balance. So um, that's something to, uh, to think about. Um, little blood blisters in there, there's not much we can do about that. They're uh, underneath as well. Um, as I say, the main thing is that you don't break into them if you can help it and just try and work with the horn. So that's it for now. We're going to say carry on with this neck and uh, when we've done, we'll come back and show you the results. Thanks for watching.